Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope every one of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any misses. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so you might have surely come across many traders who claim themselves as price action traders so basically what do we actually mean by price action trading well Price action trading is a kind of trading wherein a trader does not take the help of an indicator or oscillator to initiate his or her trade. Okay, they solely depend on the price. And where do they get to see the price? It's on the charts in the form of candlesticks, right? And how do they decide when to initiate a trade? They decide it by using the chart patterns. So in trading, we have many chart patterns, right? Like double top, triple top, double bottom, triple bottom. We have wedges, we have triangles, rectangles, flags, pennants, and whatnot. Okay, there are many, many more. Okay, so the price action traders make use of these things to decide their entry point. They also decide the stop losses and the exit points using the chart patterns. Okay, now just to bring to your attention, please remember that just by finding these chart patterns on the charts is not sufficient or it does not validate you take up uh, validate you to take up a particular trade. Okay, what is important is to know how to read these chart patterns. Please remember guys that there is a very thin line between recognizing a chart pattern and reading the chart pattern right. These are two very different things. Okay, but again, this is not the scope of this particular video. We will not talk about this particular topic in this particular video. Maybe I will go ahead and make another video where I will explain all those things uh, in details. Okay, so let's move on to the point. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about two, two things. First is if you are a price action trader or if you are someone who is aspiring to be a price action trader, then should you find the chart patterns manually or should you use an automated tool or platform that can essentially find you the chart patterns? Okay. Second topic that I will be covering in this particular video is I will let you know about a platform that can help you in finding the chart patterns. Okay. Another aspect before we move on is uh, another aspect about the chart patterns is that which time frame should we use okay in which time frame should we read the chart patterns i would suggest you to use it on a higher time frame like starting from one day time frame to anything above it okay now it does not mean that the chart patterns do not work in smaller time frames okay well they do work in the smaller time frame but I would suggest you not to use chart patterns in intraday trading okay the reason being point number one is in day trading we need to act really fast and we can act fast when we see things changing fast on the charts okay now if we are using chart patterns then they take time to get formed on the charts and by the time they get formed it might be the case that you might have already missed a move Okay, so this is the point which I wanted to make. There are also other reasons as well, but this particular reason should be solid enough for you to understand what I mean to say. Okay, and trust me on this, if you are into day trading, you have multiple things that are much simpler than the chart patterns, which can be used to make a day trade. Okay, I mean, I can bet it on that. Okay, I can bet anyone on this because I do the very same thing day in and day out. Okay, I am an intraday trader and I do not use chart patterns in order to trade intraday. There are hundreds of other simple things that can be used to make a successful day trader or to, uh, there are hundred other things which can be used to get a successful trade. Okay, now having that said, let's move on to the first topic wherein we will discuss 
whether we should be finding the chart patterns manually or in an automated way. Okay, so first thing first, let's pick up one of the most famous chart patterns that the traders use and that is double top. Okay, we will use double top to talk about the various aspects of reading the chart patterns as an example. And please remember that whatever talkings that we will be doing about this chart pattern, that is the double top, the exact same thing is applicable to all the other chart patterns as well. Okay, so let's get on to the chart and let's, let me explain everything over there so that things become more clearer. Okay, so I already have a best case scenario here. Okay, and let me explain. Uh, okay, let me first cover the topic wherein if you remember I said there is a platform which can help you in uh, determining or finding the chart patterns automatically. Okay, so what is that platform? That platform is nothing but trading view. This is the, uh, if you can see here, tradingview.com. Okay, this is the platform that I use for my technical analysis day in and day out. So this is the very platform that can help you in finding the chart patterns automatically. Now, how do we do that? Once you get onto the chart and open the candlesticks here, okay, go to indicators, go to technicals, and here you will have multiple tabs. Click on chart patterns and you can see all the different kind of chart patterns that are mentioned here. Now, please note that this is in a beta version. Okay, so I'm very sure um, as the time passes by, they will keep adding more chart patterns into the list. Okay, now, as I said, we will take double top as the example. Okay, so what you need to do is just click on double top and that will bring uh, the double top chart pattern onto the chart. Similarly, if you want to click on triangle, or rectangle or triple top just click on it and those things will be brought on to the chart okay once that is done you can close this window let me go ahead and hide the triple top okay because we will take the example of only double top as i mentioned earlier okay so i hope you're clear on how a particular chat uh, sorry how trading view can help you in finding a particular chat pattern okay so if you have uh, select a double top whenever a double top will be formed on the charts in any time frame it will be shown to you like this okay so here it is a double top the ones which you see in the red lines are the ones which have been detected by trading view automatically so this is one and the second one is this one okay this is another double top Okay, and the purple one that you see here, this is something which has been found by me manually. So that is the reason just to separate uh, the manual and the automated one. I have uh, drawn it with the dotted lines with a different color that is purple. Okay, now I hope you are clear on, on the topic wherein which platform will help you or can help you in finding a, a particular uh, chart pattern. Okay, now moving on to the second topic wherein we were discussing about whether we should find the chart patterns manually or should we depend on any system or any platform that can help us in finding the chart pattern automatically. Okay, moving on to that particular topic. Before we get any further, let me show you a small picture, a small diagram here. So you see three things here, right? Three kind of chart patterns here. Okay, all of them, are they double tops is my question. Is this a double top? Is this a double top? Is this a double top? Well, all three are double tops. But what is the difference? The difference is the first one, that is this one, the double top is a perfect double top because this top and this top are in sync with each other. So let's say that uh, this top is at 300 rupees and this top is also at 300 rupees. Okay, so the first one is a perfect double top. Okay, but remember, I'm just using the word perfect just to explain this stuff. There is nothing like perfect double stop or an imperfect double stop, uh, double top. Okay, so this is just for the illustration purposes. Okay, so this is very much a double top and the double tops are actually aligning really well with one another. Whereas when you come to the second diagram, the first top that, has been, that is being made 
is a little higher than the second top that is this one so does it mean that this is not a double top the answer is no this is also a double top it is very much a double top similarly if you move on to the third picture in this picture the first top is lower than the second top now does this mean that this is not a double top well that is wrong this is very much a double top we cannot deny the fact that this is not a double top and double tops should always be in sync like this okay so this is very well very much a double top this is also very much a double top and this is also very much a double top okay now there's a purpose why i mentioned this here the reason there's a purpose why i showed you this diagram first before moving on to the charts okay now let's move on to the chart here what i've seen if you use an automated way to find a chart pattern in this case a double top is that the system is finding a double top only when the first top and the second top are in sync with each other okay so, so the prices so the system is finding the double top only when the prices the prices of the tops that are being made are very close to each other one example is this the first double top that you see and the second example is this right the first top and the second top they are very much in sync with each other so the system is finding the double top only when the two tops the prices of the two tops are very close to each other it is not able to find the double top where a part where the first top is lower than the second top i'm not sure why now if you see this if i question you that is this a double top the answer should be yes because it is a double top this is top number 1 this is top number 2 and then it falls so this is a double top but the system remained inseparable in finding this double top now i don't know the exact reason but that is what i am guessing okay they have uh, they have uh, prepared the pine script uh, or they have developed the pine script in such a way wherein it will detect the double tops only when the prices of the two tops are very close to each other which is not right according to me okay if that is the case then we will be missing out on many of the chart patterns like this one okay this is an example this is a perfect double top but we missed the move right this is another double top this is top 1 this is top 2 and then it falls so the system was not able to detect this double top i'm not sure why okay so this is top number 1 this is top number 2 so this is one of the double top which which was missed by the system this is the second double top which was missed by the system and these are the two double tops that were actually detected by the system so the point that i want to make here is that if you use an automated way or if you are using a platform that helps you in finding a double top or any chart pattern in that case you might miss out on many of the chart patterns even if they are being formed on the charts so i would suggest you to have a look or to find to find the chart patterns on a manual basis okay what is the big deal i mean it is not a big deal you just see the chart and you will be able to say where a double top is being formed right it it doesn't even take one second to be frank okay if i remove all the diagrams here okay let me do that if i go ahead and if i delete all the diagrams here that i drew manually okay the moment you see this chart let me hide this as well okay so the moment you see this chart you can very well say where are the positions where the double where are the price points where the double tops are being made one is here okay second one is here top number 1 top number 2 third one is is here top number 1 top number 2 fourth one is here top number 1 top number 2 okay just by having a look on the chart you should be able to recognize where the double top is being formed okay so it is not a big deal okay to 
find the chart patterns manually. It's just that how much time are you spending with the charts? Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, bring the double top again. Okay, so this is what I wanted to make you understand, guys, that it's not always good to follow uh, automated way of uh, finding out things. Okay, there will be many scenarios wherein you should manually jump in and try to find a solution. Okay, so this is what I wanted to share with you guys. And again, just to reiterate, I would suggest you to use the manual method of finding the chart patterns rather than using an automated way. Okay, and the only reason is if we use the automated way of finding the chart patterns, then as you saw, we are missing out on many of the chart patterns that are being formed on the charts. And as a result of which, we will surely miss the respective trading opportunities as well. Okay, and also at the same time, please be notified that I'm not against using the automated way of uh, doing the things. Okay, but you need to see and decide which way of trading is giving you more opportunities to find the right trades. Okay, if in case you see that the automated way is giving you more opportunities to trade, then go for the automated way of trading. Nobody is stopping that, as simple as that. Okay, in fact, if I talk about myself, the pointers that I get for my equity cash intraday trading comes from an automation. Okay, I use an automated pine script to find the right trades. So it depends on how you see the things and how you bring them to work according to your preferences. Yeah, so that's all from my end guys and for the guys who have not watched my previous video I have put in the video card on the top right corner of the video the eye symbol that you see there You can click on it and watch my previous video and as always would request you all to like and subscribe to my youtube channel And also please do not miss the ending of this video as you might get some more information about HYIT That might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions or queries If any in the comment section and I will surely reply back to them and also, please do not forget to like this video if you liked it. Okay, so that's all from my end and I will see you all later. Hope you all will stick back. Happy trading and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.